Hello, I'm Josh Odette from Roaring Penguin Technical Support. In this video, we'll look at how to provision new domains for our hosted tenant service. We'll discuss the hierarchy of realms, as well as when to provision a new domain as a sub-realm, and when to put the new domain in the same realm as another. Although this video is presented with hosted Canet in mind, the same practices can be applied to any on-premises deployment of Canet Domain Pro. If you are new to the hosted Canet service, please visit www.roaringpenguin.com and navigate as follows to the sign-up form. This form will provision your first realm in the hosted Canet service. Even if you are not planning on using Canet for your organization's own domain, please enter the details of your organization's domain for your first realm. In general, we think of each realm as belonging to one organization. There's room for exceptions which we'll review later, but this is the case for the vast majority of realms. Some organizations have more than one domain. All of an organization's domains can be mapped to their one realm. However, there's no way to split a domain across more than one realm. There is a hierarchy of realms. As a new customer, the first realm you provision will be your parent realm. Later, you'll be able to provision sub-realms from within the hosted Canet user interface. This is why, even if you will not be using the service for your own domain, you should still provision your initial realm with your organization's details so that your clients will become sub-realms below yours in the hierarchy. The hierarchy is used administratively as well as technically. On the administrative side, it is used to describe the relationship of organizations. For example, as an MSP, your top realm will be your own organization, your sub-realms will be your customers' organizations, and your customers may even have their own sub-realms for their customers. For licensing purposes, each realm tracks its own users, while parent realms can also track the users of their sub-realms individually or as a group. On the technical side, a parent realm can provide default settings which that realm and all of its sub-realms will inherit. These can be trap settings such as thresholds and rules, email notification times, template customizations, and many others. Canet comes with generic default settings which should work well for most organizations but some will wish to customize the settings for themselves and all the sub-realm organizations below them in the hierarchy. With your first realm set up, it's time to consider how to provision your domains. In the Canet user interface, go to the My Domains tab and then the Request Additional Domain form. The very last option gives a choice between creating a sub-realm for the new domain or putting it in the current realm. If your new domain belongs to your organization, for example you have already added the domain nurple.com and you now wish to provision nurple.net, the new domain should be added within the current realm of the existing domain. If the new domain belongs to a sub-realm for which you have already added one domain, Switch to that sub-realm and then use the form to request the new domain be added in the realm of that domain. Putting domains in the same realm is especially important if the new domain shares users with the existing domain. If the new domain were placed in a sub-realm, it would not be able to do so. Only when domains are placed within the same realm can they share users. If your new domain belongs to a separate organization, such as one of your clients, provision it as a sub-realm of your organization's realm. Let's review the differences between domains and sub-realms and domains grouped in the same realm. Each realm can have its own realm administrator. If it is important to delegate management of a domain to a separate administrator, use a sub-realm. Each realm can have its own default trap settings, notification times, templates, and other customization. If the new domain needs to be configured differently, use a sub-realm. Sub-realms inherit settings from their parent realm, which in turn inherits settings from parent realms all the way up to the base realm at the top of the hierarchy. 
Note that configuration of user lookups used to specify LDAP or Active Directory server settings doesn't fall into consideration. User lookups are not inherited from parent realms. One realm can have many user lookups configured so that each domain in that realm has its own. Likewise, if two domains use the same server settings but need separate realms, a user lookup with the same settings can be recreated in each of the realms. As noted earlier, domains in separate realms cannot share users. If the new domain needs to share users with an existing domain, provision it in the same realm as that existing domain. Subrealms may be preferable for administrative reasons, for example, to track the number of users or email addresses using the service within each realm. Finally, Note that once a user lookup is created in a realm, it becomes available to be used for other domains in that realm. Even if users will not be shared, this may be preferable to creating new user lookups with the same settings in different realms. At the beginning of this presentation, we mentioned exceptions. Normally, an organization with multiple domains has all its domains in one realm. In this way, they can share users, and there's no need to create separate but identical user lookups, and so on. However, if for administrative or technical reasons, as we discussed earlier, you have a need to put one organization's domains in separate realms, then feel free to do so. For example, if each domain needs to have its own customized defaults, separate realm administrators, etc., as we discussed earlier. Simply keep in mind that by doing so, these domains will not be able to share users. Similarly, as noted earlier, each realm will need to have its own user lookup, even if the settings are identical to the parent realms. Thank you for watching this video. You should now have a full understanding of how domains are related to realms, and now you're ready to begin provisioning your customers' domains.